Hi, my name is Jamie Stone. Thank you for viewing Find Your Approach, God. Today is a tip on creating the learning environment. If you're still having trouble doing that during your practice sessions, this is a tip, the way to start your practice to make sure you create the learning environment. Take five golf balls, excuse me, ten golf balls, and we're going to go five and five. I want you to swing five swings as far inside, outside. I want you to try to start. Draw, rope hook, see how far you can draw. Then take the next five, and I want you to see how far you can fade it, slice it, whatever you can do to make the ball go left to right. That way it's going to start developing feels for you on exactly how far you need to be to draw it or exactly how far you need to be to fade it. And it's taking you out of your comfort zone of just swinging it here because now we have to hit a road hook, we have to hit a slice. So the key to the drill is number one, get you out of that comfort zone. Number two, we're developing feel because we're actually drawing it and slicing it. Number three, we're developing feel for how far is how far we need to be to hit that five yard draw or hit that five yard bait. So this is what it would look like. I would come in, set up my first five, I would hit all draws to a rope hook. There it is. I would hit five just like that. Now I got my next five, exact opposite. I'm gonna hit a big cut. I'll open my stance up a little bit, open that club face up a little bit, and I'm gonna swing straight out here. Just like that. If you don't know the key to hitting a big draw or rope hook, all you're trying to do is swing inside, outside, and when you're swinging out, really let your wrist turn over. Get the feel as if you're trying to let maybe your forearms touch. So what I mean is I would come inside and come out, and make sure you slow your body down and our hands speed up. That's how we rope hook the ball. So I would line up a little close to the ball, and from here, I'm going to swing inside to out and really throw my hands at it, trying to almost put my forearms together. So I'm here. As so. On the fade, I'm going to line up a little open to my target. I'm going to open the club face as well, and now I'm going to swing out and across. And a good way to see when somebody's hitting a fade is when you come across, I want you to try to put your palm to the target. You see a lot of guys on tour do this when they're hitting fades, and it really goes untalked about. Palm to the target. You'll see Tiger do this a lot. So what I want to do there is come in, set up. Open my stance just a hair, club face just a hair, and let it go. Just as so. So I hope this helps you out and get you out of your comfort zone and into that learning environment. Because in order to get better, we have to be willing put ourselves in that situation. Thanks for viewing Find Your Approach Golf, and until next time, play better golf.